Each year, the National Endowment for the Arts receives thousands of grant applications for a wide variety of arts projects. At the heart of our peer review process are panels made up of citizens from across the country. The success of our review process depends on the willingness of individuals like you to share your time and expertise while serving on an arts endowment panel. This presentation walks you through how our panel process works and how you can volunteer to be involved. Panelists play a central role in reviewing grant applications. As the first step in a three-tier review process, they make recommendations to the National Council on the Arts, our advisory board, which in turn advises our chairman on funding decisions. Each year, we conduct more than 100 panels involving more than 600 panelists to evaluate approximately 5,000 grant applications. Applications are submitted to a variety of grant programs throughout the year. We rely on panels composed of individuals to provide advice about the artistic excellence and artistic merit of proposals. Each panel represents a wide range of artistic and cultural viewpoints, as well as wide geographic and ethnic diversity. We assemble new panels every year and ensure that diverse points of view are heard in the panel process. Panels are composed of those with previous arts endowment panel experience and those volunteering for the first time. Panels include both arts professionals and knowledgeable laypersons. Arts professionals may include, but are not limited to, artists, performers, arts instructors, and staff of arts organizations. Each panel must have at least one layperson, someone who's knowledgeable about the arts, but not engaged in the arts as a profession, either full or part-time. All panelists must be U.S. citizens or permanent residents and have an account with a U.S. bank or financial institution for payment. You must also have access to a computer with reliable internet access. Applications are reviewed entirely online and panels convened remotely, so you may be physically located anywhere. If you have a disability and you need access accommodations, let us know and we'll work with you. Panelists attend an online or teleconference panel orientation, read the funding guidelines and review criteria, review online application materials, which usually include work samples, score and comment on each application, and participate in a remote panel. We'll ask you to provide your candid assessment of all applications in relation to the review criteria published in the funding guidelines. Your comments will also be the basis of valuable feedback we'll provide to the applicants if they contact us. Your name will not be attributed to any specific comments. We require that all panel deliberations are confidential. Also, panels must be free of conflicts of interest. You'll provide information about your affiliations to ensure that you won't review applications with which you might be conflicted. A panelist's time commitment is for about six weeks total. Several weeks before the panel meeting, we'll conduct an orientation for you and your fellow panelists. Their Arts Endowment staff will answer questions about the process. You'll also complete a brief ethics training and double check for conflicts of interest. This takes place over the course of about one week. After orientation, panelists are given four weeks to read and review applications on their own. Approximately 40 applications are assigned to a panel, and we advise panelists to allow approximately 30 to 45 minutes to review a single application, including the associated work samples, and to score and enter comments on that application. All application review is done online. Over the course of a week, panelists then see each other's scores and comments and meet as a group to discuss applications, typically for up to two hours. The panel session occurs via teleconference or video conference. Serving on a panel is a great public service to the arts endowment and to the arts community. You are helping to bring the arts across the country. Panelists also gain valuable professional development as you take part in the peer review process. 
you'll acquire insight into the vast national landscape of organizations that apply to us for funding, and you'll discover strategies to write strong grant proposals. Our panelists overwhelmingly say they had a good experience and would like to serve again on future panels. Panelists generally receive a modest reading fee and honorarium as a gesture of our appreciation for their time and expertise. And panelists' names are published on our website after grants are announced. If you're interested in becoming a panelist, fill out the Volunteer to be a Panelist form on our website, arts.gov. The form asks for basic information about you, as well as your arts and work experience. We maintain a database to help us identify and select panelists. We do not share this information with any third parties. And while inclusion in the database doesn't guarantee that someone will be asked to serve on a panel, it's important that we have a roster of talented individuals who are interested in serving. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions.